Hi there everybody, hopefully that's right now. This is take two and I'm hopefully on the right way around. So if anybody is there, that would be brilliant. But if they could just let me know because my computer just decided it's not going to load my page on there so I can't see what I look like. So hopefully I'm the right way around and you can see and hear me. <laughs> there we go. So the purpose of today's little live video, I don't do live videos, I do YouTube, we can erase that and start again. This is all super duper lives, but this is to show you, that's going to be backwards, um, the stuff I've pre-ordered from the new mini catalogue I'm stamping up. This goes live in January, the exact date is, I think it's the 5th. It is the 5th of January, so it's always Tuesday. I don't know why they pick a Tuesday. Um, and, of course, um, in January, we also have the launch of Celebration. Again, that's backwards. but um, So Celebration is the promotion that runs at the beginning of each year, which means you can actually get free stuff with um, qualifying orders. And that's around, uh, that's, that'll be £45 or £90 depending on the item you want. So some of them will be uh, a little bit more expensive. So what I was going to do was just transfer you up to the, um, the overhead thing. The overhead, what's it called? Tripod. And uh, just run through what I've got. And uh, I hope that inspires you. I'm not allowed to show you inside the catalogue, you see, but I can show you all the stuff I've got. Which is almost as good, if not better. Okay, so uh, what we'll do is we will work out how we flip our camera around. So if you get seasick, I'm going to move you around now. So you might want to just um, uh, just bear with me a second. And you're going to see my craft desk up close and personal. And then I'm going to put you up in the, the cradle. See all my glorious um, uh, ink pads there. Oh, I've got a nasty shadow, haven't I? Now that doesn't usually happen on my um, my other videos, so let's put another light on and see if that helps. Is that any better? Hmm, not not so much. Okay, you'll be able to see stuff anyway. So first of all, then. Dandy Garden is um, a suite that was available um, to demonstrators um, early um, if we were going to um, on stage, uh, which I did, which was absolutely fabulous. So this is Dandy Garden and it's a full suite of products that contains two stamp sets. Um, so Dragonfly Garden coordinates with this beautiful Dragonfly Punch, which is super duper. So my chair is really squeaky and then the partner stamp um, I actually ordered as part of my um, ultra pre-order um, after attending on stage so this is garden which is really really nice set and we've got some coordinating dandy wishes um, dies okay so those will obviously cut out some of those outline images I think we'll be able to make some really pretty things with those. And the other thing we've got are some really lovely um, papers. Obviously all dandelion themed. So we've got some really muted colours. It won't be to everyone's cup of tea. Um, but nonetheless, really, really beautiful colours. Some blackberry bliss in there, I think. Probably clips of coral, I would say mossy meadow, possibly a bit of misty moonlight. And then we've got a bit more, I think this side is probably more appealing to most. A bit of stripes, a few little leaves and things. It's really thick. And you get loads, so there's, I think there's 12 designs, you know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, 12 designs. Uh, I don't think it says how many sheets. Yeah, 48 sheets. So there'll be four each of all of those in that um, uh, stack of paper. There's also these really cute ladybug trinkets, if I can get them open. Look 
at them little diddy dings. Oh, hello, Carol. I can only see when um, <laughs> oh, it is exciting for you, nerve wracking for me. <laughs> little teeny tiny ladybugs. There we go. Uh, how many do you get? 20. 20 of those little ladybugs. And some really nice um, twine, which is, what colour is this? Mossy Meadow. I was right, it was Mossy Meadow. So that's just a twine that you can get in there. Okay. Um, so I've got so much to show you, it's like, it's like crazy. The other thing um, with on stage is that you often get um, an, a prize in your bag. So you always get um, a free stamp set. Or at least I have to every time I've been anyway. And uh, this was the one that we got for this cling set called Enjoy the Moment. And there were these lovely seed heads. I didn't immediately like it, but I've seen other people use it um, since they got it. And uh, it's going to be nice and fun to use. I'm almost certain of that. And then the other opportunity we had was to order um, a lot of the products from um, a suite of products, which is very exciting. Okay, so I hope this isn't too glary. Um, so art gallery suite. This is really, really lovely. Okay, so we've got some stamps that layer together to build up a really nice detailed image and some really great sentiments. Photopolymer, so it's going to be nice and easy to line up. There's some dies that go with it. Floral ga gallery dies. Okay, so we can out our images and we've got some really great words there as well just want to say look at these cute um can you see those those are like postage edge dies they're brilliant so that's those embossing folder which has like um so this is a 3d embossing folder that's going to be brilliant i reckon um anyone's got the old paper one from um is it the in good taste or something i can't remember it's going to be going to be similar to that so i hope that texture can you can see that isn't that ace so it's like um you know when they do oil paintings and it's all textured that's what that's like so that's going to be fun i think we could probably ink over that and i'll bet the vellum looks great through it look at these papers these are amazing aren't they so some of these have got a seal on them and sometimes you have to actually cut into them so let's just cut into this one shall we i mean that's just a marvelous isn't it what colors do we get bumblebee flirty flamingo Murray merlot mossy meadow loads basically loads so okay let's just have a quick flick through those so if i do that and then turn them over you'll see both sides i hope that comes across okay so we'll have a, I doubt, uh, I suspect that we're going to have a really, really fluffy um, floral on one side and a more muted one on the other. So there we go. Oops, uh, yeah, there's two of each, isn't there? So the pink one looks like that. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That yellow, like, tiled effect. Oh, that's subtle. That's nice. Ooh, that one's nice. Look at I don't know whether you can you see how like photo real that is. It looks almost like well, it has been hand painted and then photographed for the paper. Amazing. So it really looks very dimensional, even on the print. A much more subtle background on that one. Some blues. I think that looks like pool party. And that's the last one, the full sheet of the florals with a nice bright washed background on there. So they are very nice. Very nice. I'm going to end up with stuff all over the place, Carol. Then these are gold garden, golden garden speciality acetates. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to open them, aren't I? So hopefully you can see there that there's like really nice patterns. I think there's three designs. And then a more sort of tiley effect one. 
okay so just the three sheets of those but on the other side it will be silver so you've got your choice whether you want to use the gold side or the silver side this is the one this is the kit that you may have seen people saying it comes with some gold leaf and stuff i haven't actually indulged in the gold leaf yet i, I dare say i will and then this is the coordinating ribbon which has a gold fleck running through it it's really nice and soft you can see how much it bends so that's very very nice so i think reckon that's going to um, tie some awesome bows isn't it yeah look at that i can never get away with that on a bloke card as well because it's um it's got i don't know what the base color is but it's not white anyway bit more of a grungy look to it even though it's got the gold on it so that's really really nice yeah it is pretty isn't it yeah, it's pretty. okay right now the next suite that i pulled out and this is all jenny's fault carol this is jenny's fault jenny did a fantastic demonstration <laughs> with this set because i instantly went mm, not sure about that ties and bow ties and stuff um but then i saw some samples and went actually that's more useful than i think it's going to be and we've got this set of superb dies that go with it obviously it cuts out the the tie and the bow ties but you can also make little jackets and put little pockets and things on how fabulous is that okay i've seen some delightful samples with it so that's going to be something to play with and then the paper because you have to really because if you're going to make shirts and ties and things uh, we, we just have to do the paper so this has got a lot of um this is obviously blue and grey in the main and again so so as you might expect, these, these nice patterns that make up sort of shirts and ties, a bit more of a tweed style there, a plaid. Oh, that one's very, almost graph paper, that's cool. A bit more of a psychedelic shirt on that one. Nice grey spots. Oh, some loud florals. There's always a guy in the office with a loud floral shirt, right? pinstripes so more of a classic sort of suit and business type actually those go together nicely actually i wonder if they planned that so uh wedding invites that kind of thing would be really good oh look at that that's nice paisley kind of um style can you see that it's nice it doesn't appeal to me <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I, I wasn't immediately struck but i bought it and i will make something of it <laughs> I will, I will, I will, I will. Okay, so that was kind of what I got in my um my PPP, and then there's a few bits uh, to get through for the um for the actual catalogue launch. So when we when it went live in um, for the demonstrators, that is to um to pre-order, uh, we were able to order whatever we wanted. So this is what I ended up getting. Happy Thoughts is one of the million dollar um, sales uh, stamp sets that's been designed by Jackie Bolwis. Bol I don't know how to say her name. She's the top, one of the top American demonstrators. I think she's the top one now, if I remember rightly. But this is just really fab because it's a nice general sentiments um, stamp set. I know all about happy thoughts and I think with 2020 being a bit of a washout in terms of happiness and uh, and stuff I thought that was really really nice uh, really really versatile I like the mix of mix of fonts as well and then anyone who knows me and my style will know I like these kind of things that build up backgrounds and you can do a bit of um, bit of stuff with them so this is photopolymer aren't they aren't they nice so I can see me using that a fair bit to create some borders So yeah, so those are those ones. Uh, then we have sweet ice cream. This one just spoke to me. I don't know why it did. Maybe because I like ice cream. 
um really really lovely we've had an ice cream set before um but it didn't have as much much in it but of course as you might expect sprinkles lolly sticks all that kind of thing a bit of two step stamping uh, for that some really great big sentiments it's photopolymer so they're they're quite large those sentiments is that 100 percent? yeah it is so that's brilliant and it coordinates with this superb little punch uh, the sweet has these little sprinkles in there as well so we can either put those on the um on the top of the ice creams or um, we can make some shaker cards or something like that really nice happy colors and we've got this delightful well it's blackberry bliss i had to get it because it's blackberry bliss uh, let me get a pair of scissors let's open this up this is like a striped um kind of organza kind of ribbon gorgeous and I think that's going to be used quite a lot yeah can't tie a bow because I'm all shaky and nervous oh there's three people watching me I don't know who else is watching okay so that's going to be gorgeous isn't it I love blackberry bliss love it so it's nice to see it in um something that isn't quite so um oh I've unraveled it all up um, tends to make an appearance back in the autumnal sort of um, uh, stuff. And then we have some paper. Glorious bright paper. Okay, let's get this open. Oh dear. I'm surrounded by stuff now, Carol. I'm usually surrounded by stuff to be fair but uh, this is more disorganised shall we say so, so, so sorry that's sideways I should have opened it at the top shouldn't I okay so ice creams and waffles um what do you call that the cone thing some nice sort of general splattery things with some black bliss stripes love it ice lollies in all sorts of colours so this will inspire your colour choices maybe for your um, stamping, your two-step stamping. Maybe do some um, stamping off, mix mix the colours together, like rocket lollies. Oh, the stripes are nice, aren't they? Loving the papers, yeah. So papers are a great inspiration for colour combinations as well, and it's amazing how um, you think those colours don't go together, and then you see them in something else, and you go... Actually, that's not bad. I bet these punch out really nice with the, um, you know, the topper, ice cream cone top. You know, the, the ice cream bit. Ooh, look at that one. Lovely. I like these little waves. Ooh, and sprinkles. Got to have sprinkles. Okay. Really, really nice. So there's going to be a bajillion colours in there, isn't there? Bajillion. Um, I was wondering what the brown was. Um, so we've got terracotta tile and cinnamon cider. Yeah, it is cinnamon cider. Fabulous. Fabulous. Another punch bundle here called Oval Occasions. Again, wasn't going to go for this. And then I had a thought. <laughs> and then, you know. Um, so as you might expect, the sentiments have been sized to coordinate with the, the punches. You can see that quite clearly but I can see the um, the stitch so sweetly or stitch rectangles or other dies uh, coming into use there again and also with the um, the label punches I've got to punch something let's find a scrap of paper God, you think in a craft room I'd have scraps of paper around wouldn't you so you can look at that straight out the back that's seasoned it ready so um, when you get new punches it's always a good idea to stamp uh, stamp you don't stamp with punches you punch with punches um if you punch a couple of times first just to get any residual grease off that's always a good idea um so um it's not a scallop um it's just like a wavy edge 
the daughter punch yeah see i was going to just go with the punch carol but then i thought ah oh, you know what someone's going to do something fantastic with the bundle and then i'll kick myself because obviously you save 10 percent when you buy them together um, so they layer together brilliantly so they can be used individually or on their own and you can see how that will fit in there nicely that one will fit over there okay so that's a really nice little set um some baby cards would be obvious there i guess right i'm gonna have to move a few things hang on hang on otherwise it's all gonna come crashing down <laughs> right die bundles in bloom i love flowers and i really liked the bold sentiments in this i like bold sentiments it's a photopolymer set so we can layer things up and these dies have if i remember rightly stitching around them look at that so they're going to look like little appliques so if anyone's into sewing and likes um doing that kind of work those are going to look amazing aren't they yeah so I can see those being um, used a lot. And these also coordinate with one of the celebration papers. Did you know that? Did you catch that in the catalogue if you've got one? If you haven't got one, please let me know and I'll send one to you. Um, so they coordinate with this stunning paper called Paper Blooms. I'll show you, show you in a bit more in a bit. But... It's nice to know that the um, the celebration stuff is going to coordinate with some of our catalogue items too. I think that's really really good, and it gets um, you get more use out of them. Vine Design spoke to me. Look at that. Really like it. Again, lovely sentiments, which I think is going to be great. And we've got the with sympathy, which I know people don't. Re oh, hello, Hilary. Hi. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I can see who's watching at the top. Ah, oh, there you go. You learn something new every day. Um, Vine design. So yeah, I, I just like this. Yeah, we don't want to do sympathy cards, but you know, it, it is what it is. They're, they're going to happen. Red rubber. I like red rubber stamps. And the dies. Well, just wait till you see these. Just wait till you see these. Can't get them out the packet. They're really, really detailed. Look at those. <laughs> Can't wait. Okay, I think those might even be small enough width-wise to go through the mini uh, machine as well. So I can't wait to play with these. Uh, these, yep, yeah, they do. They coordinate with the um, the stamps. But I reckon you can layer them over the top of your other designs too. Oh. Yes, love it. So that's going to be fun to use. I don't know why I've done that because I like to keep them so I can actually see what's inside the packet. Sometimes I can't remember. So if I put them back in the pocket like this, I can see what they're called also see what I've got okay ah oh, pretty perennials this is another million sales a stamp set from Dina Rico um, Dina does brilliant Facebook lives not like me definitely me but yes definitely my kind of stamp set that was as is this one I'm gonna like this uh, again great sentiments we can build up our images gonna be lots of fun people who like um what's it called beautiful friendship and those kind of things i think are going to like this one the die set is jam-packed really good value bundle this is loads and loads of dies to go with look at that leaf isn't that just super duper duper okay so that's going to be well used i am sure and this one also coordinates with the celebration paper i think oh was it this one? Oh, was that the one? Oh, can't remember this one goes with one of them could be that one so yeah really really like that i like dina rico's um 
sunny face bit lives. Floating and fluttering again, butterflies. So, who likes butterfly gala? So, I do. And then we've got this one floating and fluttering. Okay, brilliant dies. I like the label that comes with this as well. And we've got a coordinating stamp. I don't always get that. Um, so, you can see there that we've got elements to um, build up the butterflies, colour them in with the stamps. And then we've got the dies that that, um, that coordinate. It's going to be very, very interesting. We've got two of everything, haven't we? We've got two of those. So presumably that helps us do multiple die cuts at a time. So we're not having to run things through a number of times. Brilliant. Oh, that one's like an embossing one, look. So that looks like it fits with that one. Then you can do some embossing. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Oh goodness, that won't go back in. It will go back in later, Carol. I'll go back in later. Oh, got a leaning tower of stamps. So, celebration wise, then I plumped for a touch of ink. So, two step stamping, really nice. I can see the flat, in fact, all of those would work together really, really beautifully, won't, won't they? Flowers and leaves with a butterfly or a, or a hummingbird. Hummingbird is beautiful. Really beautiful. Those are only 85%. So how big are they? So. Sorry. That's how big they are. So quite sizeable. So if this is a card front. That, that's how, how large they are. So that's a good size, isn't it? Good size. Um. Nice thinking of you and a nice hello friend there. What's that? Hope and love. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so that's bigger than I thought it was actually. And then you've got the stamps that will layer over the top for some um, colouring. But those line images could obviously be coloured with um, anything you like. You do some watercolouring or um, some blends in, uh, blends markers. That would be great. And then Berry Blessings actually is one of the um, double whammy. Oh, this is all going to fall over. Hang on, hang on. I'm going to have a, a calamity. Hang on. Um, Berry Blessings comes with some paper as one item that you can get for free. Okay, so this is Berry Blessings. It also coordinates. This is what I was thinking of. This one coordinates with another stamp set in the catalogue that I don't have yet. I probably will get it. I've lost my scissors, Carol. They're underneath my... Oh, no, I've, I moved them. <laughs> okay. Let's get this over. Open. So, um, yeah, I thought this was really good. As a, So this is like a double value one. So this would be free with a £90 order. But just look at the colours. I mean, there's just so many colours. Nice ginghams. And the fruit, I presume that's real red. Love the blueberries. Oh, look at that! Oh, stunning! Pretty, pretty, pretty. I like this. Oh, that could be blackberry bliss again. Ooh, lovely. And look at those strawberries. Oh, <laughs> and that's like um, the pips on the strawberry. On the outside, more of those berries in red though. Oh, some nice leaves on the back. Brilliant. So those are really good. And um, I mean, the quality is still excellent um, for the um, celebration item. Um, and obviously we've got two-step stamping going on there um, to create our berries. So berry, berry blessings. Is it photopolymer? Yep. Brilliant. That's very, very nice. Almost done. Almost done. Oh, I forgot to show you my, my embellies. I'll do I'll do the rest of the paper first. So let's open these up. Um, so these are all celebration papers. So we've, there's a lot of um, choice in the celebration in terms of my sort of colours. For the berry ones, Carol. Oh, 
<laughs> right, what's this called? Oso Ombre, I think it's called. Yes, it is. Sorry, rustly, rustly paper. Oh, right, okay. So, I think this is Black Bliss as well, isn't it? Yay, Black Bliss. Two of my favourite colours in this one. Black Bliss and Bermuda Bay. Okay, so double-sided so, oh, so you're gonna have to make decisions okay so so the back of that is granny apple green so you've got the plain ombre and then the the one with the white bubbles kind of on it granny and um, blackberry and then we've got rococo rose with bermuda bay oh i love bermuda bay love it and you get stacks of it of it. So how many of those have we got? So we've got one, two, three, three of each design um, in terms of spots and bubbles, whatever, and they're plain ombre, and then the four colours. Lots of fun with those. I've got two packs of these. So I can see those being used a lot. And of course, if you've got two packs, it means it doesn't matter if you cover up the other side because you've got another pack to go to. That's my argument, I'm sticking with it. Right, this one's cute. I've already opened my black one, because um, I really wanted to see how... Um, see the colours against the black, but um, just bear with me. Oh, this one's being stubborn. Doesn't want me to show you. Oh, seven people. Oh, Victoria, hello! Uh, what did I say this was called? Paper Blooms. Okay, so I really like florals because they're so diverse. Um, so all sorts of really quick and easy cards that can be... Oh, look. This is Rococo Rose, I think, isn't it? And I reckon that's stuff Soft Sea Foam, Knighted Navy. Janice will be happy it's got Knighted Navy in it. She loves Knighted Navy. I just, just want to sit and look at them. Some nice stripes. Oh, that's pretty. That'd be really cute with the bunnies and the, like, for a new baby card, wouldn't it? Ooh, little white flowers. I love that. Oh, some splodges. Oh, I think that's calling out for, plun for punches. Hello, Catherine Drinkwater. Uh, oh, this is cute. Oh, the dark background on that, that's really, really pretty. I like that. I think that might be old olive in there. Oh, and some soft sea foam. I think that might be. Pretty leaves. That's nice. That would go with them um, forever fern, won't it? Hello, Yvonne. Hello. Uh, white background on this one, but again, really, really pretty. Oh, and some nice, um, oh, that'd be a nice groovy background. That could work for a guy, couldn't it? Okay. Oh, hello, Jez. Hi, everyone. Is everyone, like, um, sitting down to lunch and wondering what's going on? <laughs> it's good to see you. I've almost finished, to be fair, um, Jez, but um, I'm sure you can watch it on Catch Up anyway. And then this one. When I saw it in the um, the little mini catalogue, I thought, oh, great, black background. There was one um, paper pack when I first joined. It was a 6 by 6 one, I think. And that was a black base. And I really liked it because I love... Um, I love British and things I did not buy. Oh, great, brilliant. There you go. Well, now your wish list is longer, Jazz. <laughs> um, but the impact of the colours over the, over the back over the black it's just, it's just brilliant um so we've got some nice um oh, they're like little tulip heads on there that you turn into oh you've just not had your front oh right okay cool <laughs> cute daisies don't they really pop off the um black i think that's really really cute so the, the daisy punch is going to work really well with that i reckon um i can see jill having fun with this jez i love this I think that's really really striking i think it's granny apple green i'll check in a minute 
love this as well I, I love them um, pink and yellow really just goes lovely together and I believe that is just jade in the background so a lot of the um the in colors are appearing in uh, a lot of the stuff this time around black with spots so guys that will, will be catered for I love this that's upside down isn't it but um the red and the yellow go together really beautifully on there don't they yellow spots and then this beautiful multicolored one I mean just dice that up stick it on card fronts you're done aren't you really stick a sentiment on it you're, and you're happy Ooh, cute like this I reckon you could get away with that with for a guy as well in fact um, I wonder if we could get some stripy um, stripy ties out of that and then we've got this one I thought this was really really pretty it's got um, I hope it's I think it might be flirty flamingo uh in there as well so uh that's really nice oh more more stripes for shirts and jackets and things i may have to order some more <laughs> yeah so that's I, I just thought that was a really really cute let's just have a look at the covers what have we got oh it's bumblebee is the yellow cherry cobbler flirty flamingo granny apple just jade misty moonlight petal pink uh pool party poppy parade Pumpkin pie, shady spruce, so shuffle, so white, brilliant. So there's loads in there, isn't there? Oh, that must be that yellow bumblebee. Oh, yeah, yeah, fab. So that I thought that was a really, really sorry about the glare. Um, I thought that was really, really nice, quirky set. I've got to show you my embellies. Whoops, Daisy, stuff fell over, kicked the bucket. Um, so I just picked up a few extra embellishments because you know we always like a little bit of bling and stuff on there so these are from various um bits and bobs that i haven't necessarily got the um sweets for there's a sweet um with hydrangeas in which is absolutely fabulous um, i didn't stretch that this time but i did really like these pearls and these are actually in four colors so if i just open that up oh preferably without taking the packaging with me um, so we've got Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather and then we've got, these are actually um, Seaside Spray and Rococo Rose. So they, they do have a blue hint to them, it, it isn't coming across that well on the camera, they look white but they aren't. Um, probably look a little, little more blue against there or silvery but they are, they are um, Seaside Spray. The black dots I just thought were ace. Um, these go with one of the um, kind of Valentine-y sweets. I don't generally do Valentine, but um, I just found your video too yeah, cool. Um, oh yeah, catch up later. The pearl, I've got the pearls. Yeah, the pearls are nice. But I like these because they're matte, and um, sometimes you don't want sort of shiny, blingy things. Oh dear, everything wants to stay in their packets. Yep. Um, but um, I kind of thought um, butterfly bodies and things like that, but they're really smooth. But So they've got a sheen to them, but they're not sparkly. Really, really cute. And then these ones, again, these come with a suite that I really, really like. But it, it'll be in my basket at some point, I'm sure it will. Um, lovely seaside, seashell themed um, suite these come with. Uh, what do they call them? Opal rounds, yeah opal rounds look at the bling on them aren't they cute so i think they're really fun um and there's two sizes of those as well which is also really really cute so yeah loads and loads of stuff and then on my video the other day i, I actually did a 3d project folks it's pretty much unheard of on on the on this um on this page but um i used some retired little um mini binder clip things and i didn't realize they were retired until i went to add them and then ah oh, they're retired we've got these little things now look at those I'm liking it all now sorry if i made you um bust the budget when's your birthday carol get get someone to buy you pin presents um so yeah little little teeny tiny clips aren't they adorable in gold and silver and you get get 20 in the pot cute i love i love little clips and stationery and things i've got so much stuff that's like stationery and, and whatever 
and of course blending brushes so this is my second set now okay if anyone hasn't seen these um then well you just gotta get them basically they're really really nice so i ha I, I was a big girl and i actually started using mine so look i've got two dirty ones now it made me a tinsy bit sad but uh, getting them dirty but they, they they are brilliant i love them so you get a pack of three um and they're like 11 quid but look at them they're huge so if you if you have bought any similar style brushes um um they're, they're, they're so much bigger fantastic which means you're going to get a really nice blend you're going to less less likely to get splodges at least i found and they are so soft. There must be like a gazillion bristles in there. Um, and it just they just they just glide on. They're just absolutely super duper duper. So I want I want to blend something now. Shall I blend something? Oh, I've got a random circle and I've got what have I got? A piece of cardstock. I just grabbed the first blue ink I had, really. Just got very far. This is what, what doing on the hoof hoof means. But you just sort of circular motions on there. It's probably been a bit, bit stingy with that there. Those just they're just so smooth. I, I, I can't really explain it. But yeah, super duper. Okay, so gonna gonna be using those a lot. I mean, I use blending brushes anyway, but um, these are just gonna make it even easier. Okay, so those are those. Those are definitely a must-have. So um, as soon as that goes live on the fifth, uh, you need to get them in your basket. I'm telling you. I've got a funny feeling these are these are gonna go like hotcakes. You know. So um, just uh, just giving you the heads up. They are brilliant. Absolutely. I just I just want to stroke them. They're just beautiful. Love it. I love mine. Still have a clean one. I still have a clean one. Oh, I've got four clean ones now. Yeah. <laughs> I suspect they won't be clean for long, Carol. So um, my intention is to sort of almost. Um, so I've got six now. So I think if I've got one more set, I'll probably be able to have a brush for each kind of. Um, so you know, through the rainbow and all that kind of stuff. So. Right. So that is it in terms of my haul. Where did I do my catalogue? There it is. Oh my God, my room is a nightmare now. I'm gonna have to tidy up. <laughs> um, so there we go. So that's my quick run through of that. Of course, um, now all of you guys, I think uh, have probably got demos and whatever, but if anyone is watching on catch up and wants to get uh, a catalogue, please do let me know. Uh, I'll be happy to send one out to you. Alright, <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed that and uh, we'll catch you again soon, uh, I hope anyway, because I hope that wasn't too painful to listen to, me rambling away. <laughs> I'll, have a great time, I'll have a great time sorting it out. Mm, yeah, I, I like to have all my stamps in alphabetical order. Thanks, yeah, we'll catch you first one later. Great, that's brilliant Catherine, fantastic. So yeah, have fun putting it all away. Yeah, okay. You should see my room. <laughs> yeah, I'm surrounded. Absolutely surrounded. But it's all good stuff, right? All good. No problem, everybody. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that little run through. And maybe there's some stuff, like I say, uh, like uh, Jess said, she, she hasn't actually purchased some of those those things. So it's nice to see different stuff. Uh, and everyone's got their own taste in what they decide to order. So I hope that's been helpful okay right i'll leave you there then and i'll catch up with you soon take care everybody have a lovely weekend